Happy Monday, guys. Hopefully everyone had a great Sunday uh, with the Daytona 500. I did make the post-race review video that is on the channel. If you did not see that, it is on the channel from yesterday. I wanted to make an additional video, mainly talking about something that I was not aware of because I was at the race. Um, I was not watching on TV. I wasn't really on Twitter. I was I was with my girlfriend, so I wasn't really on Twitter at all. I wasn't looking at Twitter for any race updates much. Um, I was just, you know, watching the race as is. There was a very big problem. You guys have mentioned it in the comments um, on the previous video, and it came with Fox and the commercials. And, you know, usually, there, we all know there's commercials with the broadcast, but this one seemed more serious than most. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Just remember, I've not been able to watch the broadcast. There, I mean, it's not there. I, I didn't. Ha I don't have a DVR, so I wasn't able to record it. Um, and it's nowhere that I know of where I can actually um, watch the entire broadcast with commercials and everything, like exactly how it was. So I don't know. But I found this amazing, amazing thread on Twitter by uh, Brandon's blog that we're going to go through. So shout out Brandon's blog for, for doing this. He literally created a thread throughout the whole race of when Fox was going to commercial. And so we're just going to go through that and then I'll kind of react to it and give my opinions on it because I think you guys know how I feel about Fox. They're not going to go anywhere. They're, they will sign up. Um, again for a brand new TV rights deal but what we saw today was a little bit ridiculous and and you know I think sometimes when it comes to this kind of stuff like like when it comes to the states the United States and motorsports this has to improve because there there's you know the, the two sports I love uh, that's you know really European based let's, let's throw in Formula One for motorsports and football you know football like normal football also European. You don't have commercials for us. Like when I'm when I'm watching those two things, there's no commercials. Like I know that with the American broadcast with ESPN, that's part of it, but Sky Sports doesn't go to commercial um, for Formula One races. So you have a, basically a full hour and a half to two hour Formula One race, no commercials, and a football match. You you watch every second of the match. The commercials are before the match, after the match, and halftime. And even for American football, you can go to commercial you know, between kickoff, you know, so if someone scores a touchdown, after you score a touchdown, you go to commercial, next thing you know, you don't really miss a play. Uh, in football games, you don't miss plays. You just go to commercial and, you know, everyone gets like a two to three minute break and then you get going. With NASCAR, that's a little bit different. Longer race, of course, three, three and a half hours, but this was ridiculous when we break it down in terms of the the lap counters i want to give a shout out to all the patreon members always for supporting the channel you guys are the absolute best thank you as always for supporting commenting liking and everything now let's get into this let's go through uh this thread okay so again shout out to brandon's blog for the thread and this is very 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 long as you can see going through everything throughout the entire race okay so uh sit back relax grab some popcorn we are going to talk about this um, and I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion when it comes to this nonsense because it really is unacceptable. Um, you went for so they went 10 laps. You guys went 10 laps without a commercial break. That's acceptable. I'm fine with that. But after that, this is where it gets really, really ridiculous. Okay. So a four laps. I'm not. I'm not gonna. You know, focus too much on like people taking the lead and stuff like that. It's a plate race. So obviously, you're always somewhat. Someone's always going to take the lead. But lap 14. Um, so you miss about four laps, and then you you see five laps. And then they go back to commercial on lap 19, right? That's really annoying because you've already had two full screen commercials before you've even seen 20 laps of the Daytona 500. You come back on lap 21, so you only miss about two laps. Fine. Um, then you go back on lap 28. Nothing terribly awful. I mean, you are seeing seven laps of racing. Um, that's fine, I guess. But, you know, and, and it's and it's right before Green Flag Pit Stop. So, obviously, Fox knows Green Flag Pit Stop is going to happen in this window. You don't want to go to commercial for that. So, okay, you do have to come go go to commercial before the Green Flag Pit Stops. That's okay. You come back on lap 32 a little bit. That's, that's uh, again, four laps in between. Um, 33 to go on the stage. And then uh, Green Flag Pit Stops happen. You go to lap 41. Again, I'll understand that because you have a commercial before Green Flag Pit Stops. Your commercial after Green Flag Pit Stops fine. Back on lap 44, you miss another three laps, but then only three laps. You only watch three laps of the race. That is unacceptable. I don't know what else to say. It's unacceptable. Three laps before your next commercial break on lap 47. Um, it's full screen. There's not been a single split screen uh, 
uh, commercial yet. And by the way, guys, I don't know about for you. I don't know if this, sh- this has changed this season or not, if Fox Sports has updated their app. But essentially, when I'm streaming on the TV or I'm streaming um, on my phone, when I'm using the Fox Sports app, when they go split screen, I don't get split screen. Only when you're watching via cable do you get split screen. To uh, For me, at least, if I'm streaming on my TV or I'm streaming on the Fox Sports app using the TV provider information, uh, it does not uh, go – like it doesn't show split screen. The app puts on its own commercials. So I usually – I even – some most of the time I miss the transition coming back into the race because Fox Sports is playing its own commercials on the app. So – that's that's really annoying as well. I think the Fox Sports app is disgraceful. I really don't like it. They don't have the um the 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 feature where you can you know not have you you can't surf your phone on different apps when you're on when, when you're on the Fox Sports app. You always have to be on the race. If you slide it up on your phone, then it shuts down. Right? It's it's just so ridiculous. It's it's genuinely pathetic. How like how um bad the Fox Sports app is and the experiences for me when it comes to commercials, when it comes to not having the ability to like text someone during a race because I text someone, the stream's going to close down and then I have to restart the stream. Like it's just really, really frustrating. Um, Those are the things that I have to deal with when I'm not at a racetrack, when I'm watching on a normal Sunday. Um, Obviously you guys know I take care of Sky during the afternoons. So I am watching on my phone. Like it, that's just what I'm doing. And it's just really, really frustrating to, um, to have to deal with the app so three whole laps is just is is i don't know it's just pathetic um literally the 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 commercial break lasted longer than the broadcast stint he's right about that it's just you know surely you can't be serious yes that's right um it's just absolutely pathetic uh really 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 sad um and this is where i would assume you guys on Twitter probably were really getting pissed off. Like I'm, I'm sure when, when, when this one happened back on lap 44 and to lap 47 commercial break and then 51, when that happened, I'm sure you guys must've been absolutely livid. Like it, it, that's, I would have been absolutely, if I was, if I was watching on my phone, I would have been tweeting with you guys and, and absolutely blasting Fox sports. It's pathetic. Um, and I don't even, I don't know what the commercials were. Were you guys seeing the same repeat of commercials? Were there different commercials? Like what was, was it the same always Ford F one fifty after, you know, after every time they go to commercial, was it like, you know, what, what, like, was there a variety in them or was it just constantly the same ones? Was it Fox advertising NASCAR next week when the Daytona 500 is going on, which is always the most annoying thing. So yeah, just uh, really, really frustrating there. Um, lap 60, we're back. Uh, good to note the longest green flag run to start the day. So yeah, he was, so yeah, it was, it was good racing at the beginning. Um, so 50 back on lap 51, lap 56 is another commercial. You miss another four laps. Um, so lap 60, you guys come back and then it's the end of the stage. So with basically 10 laps to go on the stage commercial, you don't come back, come back until there's six laps to go on the stage and you've essentially missed like, you know, half of what's left of the stage. It's just, uh, pretty pathetic and then you know the end of the stage i'm not gonna um you know complain about commercials at this at a stage break because that is literally what stages were for is for commercials which makes everything before this all the more pathetic the commercials should be happening here when the stage ends and before you go back green that's when the commercial should be happening before pit stops after pit stops and all that stuff it should not be happening every five laps here the reason why nascar one of their main reasons for even implementing the damn stages were for fans to go to the concessions and 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 get food or go to the bathroom or you at home to get snacks or something and for commercials this is where the commercials would mostly put be put in just like we do for football, just like we do for, um, you know, I, I mean, Formula One's not really a thing, but like for football in Europe, you have halftime, right? Before, halftime, after. No commercials during the game. Like in Europe, in Europe, they do it so much better than America. In America, everything is way too commercialized, way too commercialized. And that is just how it is. It's really really frustrating. I'm, I am I get it. Everyone wants to make money. I put ads in my videos. I'm, I know, like I understand, but this, you can't be putting it every four laps. You just can't. I mean, half, like in my video, half of the video is not ads. Like when you see an ad on this video, 
it, you, you might get the little skip feature or it might be a 15 second ad out of what could be a 20 minute, 30 minute video. There might be four, you know, four ad breaks in a 20 minute video, right? Those four ad breaks could total up to be a minute. It could be 15 seconds each, or it could be 10 seconds. You have two skippable ads, whatever it is out of a full 20 minute video. The way this is working is you literally can't see half the race. So imagine if you were watching my video, you couldn't see half of my video. Half of my video was 10 minutes of commercials and ads. So I made a 20 minute video and you just saw 10 minutes of commercials and ads. And then you didn't see the other 10 minutes of the video. It's just, it, you know, that's essentially what, what Fox Sports is doing with, with the Daytona 500. It's, it's genuinely stupid. Back on lap 68. So this is the start of stage two, right? And, and so this is like under caution. Uh, lap 69, second commercial break of the caution. Again, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with commercials during the stage break. However, he does point out that on lap 66, the stage ends. Lap 71, six laps for a stage break caution. Again, this is literally all for just commercials. Um, it's, you know, he wants it to be two laps. But again, we can't do that because the point of the stage was for commercials. So current pace is 8.87 laps between commercial breaks at the start of stage two. Absolutely ridiculous. Lap 77, so less than eight laps even between breaks. Um, and it's full screen again. So out of the nine commercials, only one was split screen, like a side-by-side -side split, split screen in the first 80 laps of the Daytona 500. And you had nine commercial breaks by lap 77. Nine commercial breaks by lap 77 you can maybe take away two of them because of the stage so right so even like seven in 77 laps right it's just ridiculous back on lap 81 basically 82 and then uh the the, the commercial so the commercial break was four to five laps. You, you guys are missing four to five laps per commercial break and the wreck that happened i don't know if he talks about this in the um in the in the caution i don't know but the 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 wreck that Kevin Harvick bumps Tyler Reddick, right? They were going into a side-by-side. -side. I saw the clip of this. They were going into a side-by-side -side commercial break. They go into the side-by-side -side commercial break. Reddick is wrecking, and they just don't They don't go back to it. They just, you know, let the commercials play on the side. And in your little small screen over there, you know, you see that the, the crashing happened. They, have, they, they, they just don't break away from the commercial break that just started. They don't break away from it to come back to the race. Really, really, really frustrating. Um, and, yeah, it's just really, really annoying. Uh, and, and the, the, like the method kind of continues here. Commercial break was at lap 96. So we only got five laps of racing before another full screen commercial break. Um, the broadcast came back on lap 100. So it's four laps were missed. Lap 104 was the first crank it up, which they don't really do anymore. Um, apparently lap 112 for the next commercial break, to be fair from 100 to 112, that might be the longest you've gone without commercial breaks, about 12 laps back from commercial on lap 115. Uh, and then from 115 to 118, another commercial break. It's just ridiculous. And this is, uh, so the side by side as a crash happens coming to the front straightaway. Um, yep. That was the, the Harvick and Tyler Reddick incident. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> they ran three laps and then they went to commercial and they missed one of the most important wrecks of the race. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh Lord have mercy. So they were in a side by side for the whole wreck. They go through a few replays and then they go back to, to, to commercial on the same lap. Lap 120 under caution, commercial or lap 120 under caution. Uh, they come back from commercial, replay, 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 go back to commercial. Cars have even cross start finish line again. Probably what, two minutes worth of coverage? Another commercial after pit stops. Um, uh, back on lap 124, missed the choose cone. Next commercials on lap 131, and then it just continues on back to commercial, lap 134, back on lap 136. Next commercial break, lap 140, due to caution, back on lap 142, lap 148, brief side-by-side, -side. lap 156 is the next commercial break, side-by-side, -side. back on lap 159, and then they kind of go to side-by-side -side most of the time from here on out. So on lap 165, Mike Joy said this is the last time they're going side-by-side, -side. unclear if that means for the final 34 laps. Or it'll be like full uh, lap. The final 34 laps will be commercial free or if they will be full screen commercials. And then um, they had commercials for cautions. So that is when they would go to commercials. Lap 205 commercial due to a caution on track following the big one. Um, and yeah, so 
towards the end of the race, they definitely, you know, apparently what they were trying to do is like, let's, let's have the last 40 laps commercial free. And this is a thing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the tour de France on, on, uh, NBC when that's going on in, in the summer, but the tour de France is a really long cycling race. And obviously the first, like three hours of the stage is useless. So they just go to commercial over and over and over and over. But again, that's cycling. It's completely different. There are things that can happen at any time during this race. And to just be going to commercial this much that the race is absolutely ridiculous. It's really, really frustrating. And to end it all, 211 laps divided by 23 commercial breaks means the average commercial was every 9.17 laps. Now, remember, some of those has to do with stage breaks and stuff like that. So maybe add a little bit more. But you could see when we were talking about this going through this thread, there were multiple instances where there was only three laps of racing, multiple instances where there's only four to five laps of racing, and many, many instances where you were only, you were missing four to five laps of racing. Really, really frustrating. If you don't include the extra 11 laps and only do the 200, the average commercial is once every 9.07, uh, 0.01 laps. Um, it's just really, really, really annoying. Um, yeah, it's terrible. It's genuinely, genuinely terrible. Uh, I have nothing to say other than that. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I know you guys have expressed your frustration. I, uh, again, I have, I, I, I didn't see the broadcast, but I feel like this thread goes through it really quickly. Um, essentially you get two to three minutes of racing commercial, four to five minutes of racing commercial, five to six minutes of racing commercial, 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 just super, super frustrating, a terrible, terrible way for Fox sports to start their broadcast. Um, and, and you guys were mentioning it to Jeff Gluck. So this is where I got this thread is because Jeff Gluck's entire feed was how pissed they were about the volume of commercials. I mean, it's genuinely, I just, um, you know, yeah, we, something has to be worked on for the new TV deal. I am willing to pay for ad free. That's what I'm willing to pay for. There has to be some sort of option that we can pay for commercial free racing. It's necessary. I mean, it's getting really ridiculous right now. And I, I'm expecting next next week and when I have to be watching on TV, if they do this during the Daytona 500, why would they not do this for the other races as well? So I'm expecting it just to be or to be just as bad. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. Um, you know, it keep expressing your displeasure. Um, again, for this for this race, I can't really say anything because I didn't see it on TV, but Keep expressing your displeasure. Do not let Fox Sports get away with it. Just bombard them. Keep, you know, mentioning the commercials and how unfair and unjust it is just so they can make money. It's really, really frustrating. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Comment down below what you think about all this. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.